Steven Strays from Home, written by Duck Show Studios. Steven, the Stevenson's rocket, works at Olstead Castle. He huffs and puffs to and fro, pulling passengers um, around the estate. Steven isn't the only engine working at Olstead. There's also Millie, the small narrow gauge tank engine. Bonjour, Steven. Bonjour, Millie, said Steven. One day, Steven was waiting for passengers. You're not, you you might be better than Tom, but that was an awful stop. Indeed, Robert. The Earl apologized to poor Elizabeth. Stephen had passengers. They were at the platform. And they'd been there, yeah. Oh, said one. You're Stevenson's rocket I hear. Yes, that's me. I'm Stephen. P.O. I'm the rocket. Oh, said the man. I can't wait to see how fast you go. I was the, one of the fastest engines of my time. I'll give you a ride that you'll never forget when you board the rocket. pee yow Au revoir, Stephen. Au revoir, Millie. The man and the other passengers boarded Stephen. Oh, I'm Stephen, and I'm pulling passengers. Oh, I'm Stephen, and I'm pulling passengers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Here I go. I'm Stephen, and I'm pulling passengers. I'm Stephen, and... I say, said the man, you're not going very fast. Oh, I have a speed limit here, sir. I have to go this slow. Stephen was approaching the hill. Sloping away from the castle. The point, the points have been set towards the ramp, the hill. But then, but Stephen didn't know it yet. And before he knew it, he was puffing down the hill. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way, said Stephen. Oh, that's good, said the man. Maybe since you're going down a hill, you can show us how fast you can go. Come on, Rocket. Steve, this went to Steven's head. Oh, yes, I'm the Rocket. Pee-yow! He raced, or as fast as Steven can go, down the hill. And, and he didn't stop, and then he stopped at the bottom. Oh, I should probably go back, said Steven. No, you're the Rocket. Pee-yow, right? Pee-yow, agreed Steven. I'm the Rocket. Pee-yow! And he went even further. And then eventually, not very far from the hill, he ran out of water. Oh dear, I've run out of water. Now I'm the one in trouble. Stephen's driver got out to put flags and flares on the line. But he was too late. Gordon was huff puffing by with a long goods train. Stephen, get out of my way, you slow old engine, said Gordon. Oh, I'm sorry, Gordon. I've, I've run out of water, said Stephen. Oh, the indignity, said Gordon. Gordon was stuck because Stephen was blocking the line. And Gordon was pulling a long train of trucks. Supplies for the Earl. Spencer puffed in. Oh my! Gordon, you're stopped. I'm stopped because the silly old engine decided to stray from home and venture to here and now he's blocking my way. Oh, I'll get help, Gordon, said Spencer. He was taking the Duke and Duchess for a meeting with the Earl. So that's exactly what happened. Stephen dropped off the Duke and Duchess and coupled up to the back of, I mean, Spencer dropped off the Duke and Duchess and coupled up, coupled up to the back of Stephen's train. He puffed and pulled and pulled Stephen up the hill to the castle. Now Gordon could go up and deliver his freight.
Oh, I'm sorry, sir, said Stephen. The passengers were delivered. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, said Stephen. I, I thought I could go fast and show this man how fast I could go. I got a bit full of myself and I got stranded. I'll say so, said Gordon. The Earl told Stephen, the Earl told Stephen not to venture so far from the castle. And Stephen was a sadder and wiser engine.